There is still some architecture here, though. Like, despite all the the crazy wilderness that we're, we're going through, there is still some familiar... Like, ruins of, uh, of what used to be possibly parts of, or... Or whatever. Burwich before, or just maybe little settlements just outside of the uh, the central city. Like, look at this. You got very similar walls to uh, to that area. Uh-oh. We got some crazy people here. I can't do that. Cannibals? Oh, I think not. Wait, if we're getting close to the cannibals, then that means we could be very close to where uh, where her father was left behind, I think. That, that's what that means. Um, there is what looks like a dungeon back there. Oh, wow, look at this place. Oh, who are you? Javos Bone Splinter. Let's put that to the test and see how many splinters we can make from your bones. Come on. I'm, like, stuck in a wall or something here. Get him! Get him! Boom! Oh, nice. I think there's another... Nope, that was it. Okay. Hey, look at this. Look at this old, like... What is this? Like, some kind of farmhouse or... Or something like that? Really, really cool. Loot! Give me more loot. Gotta keep my eyes open for little... Little secrets hidden here and there. Might be some treasure troves or something like that to uh, to pop open. And it looks like... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and jump into this, uh, this little cellar or something like that up, up here. Yeah, some kind of little mini dungeon probably here. Underground. Decrepit cellar. Whoa. Oh, this is... This is gonna take a while, isn't it? This is no small cellar. Lots of breakables, I like that. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it when they try to swarm me like that. And I just soak it all up. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for like little additional side paths maybe because Crate loves doing that. They, they love making little hidden side paths or, or rooms or something like that that uh, aren't identified on the mini-map and aren't even that naked to uh, to the eye. What the hell is this thing? The Master Cannibal? Leader or something? Avarice Marrow Mill? Marrow Will? I've had enough of your shit. Time to die. What is that? Bleeding damage? <laughs> I love his death scream. You're still alive? And now that it's just you, I mean, I could pretty much Netflix and chill at this point. Maybe. I don't know. You're still doing some pretty... Pretty good damage, whatever that is. What is he? He or she? Ow. Stunning me or something? You got some serious health. That's all I know. What the hell? Can't do that. 
I mean, I may run out of energy before this person runs out of health. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and take a potion. There we go. What the hell? Is that vine whacking me? Almost there. Yeah, just another name added to the list of face tanked fools. You cannot stand toe to toe with me. Uh uh. Not this character. Excellent, excellent. Well, for all of the, the huge health pool that I had, I had some pretty decent uh, damaging attacks, but nothing nothing I couldn't handle. Still got a lot to explore, though, still. That was, like, just the beginning. What the? Okay. Fucking Zerg Swarm of Wendigos. Yeah, go on, then. Come on, then. Yeah? That's it? Get wrecked. That's what that is. I think it's the same thing that the other named boss I was fighting was doing to me. Some kind of some kind of snare. <laughs> I love their death scream. <laughs> More crabs. The cannibals and the crabs have some kind of strange alliance, I think. Which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. If you're a cannibal... Certainly you like the taste of crab, too. I mean, why not just leave the rest of us alone and focus on crabs? Or maybe that's it. They've just been eating crab for far too long. They can't can't stand it anymore. They, they need a, a new flavor on the barbecue pit. Apparently there's some new uh, rendering uh, system now too. Oh look, another crab. Mudflinger. Ow. Ow. Hang on. What else is hitting me here? Let's focus on the little ones first. Apparently there's some new, uh, what is it? Rendering? Uh... Damn, look at all those stacks of Freaking debuffs. Crazy. Um, there's some kind of new rendering tech that they got going on here with the uh, the game. Uh, some people are reporting some technical difficulties here and there with black screens or, or whatever. I haven't had any problems at all. Uh, not, not even just related to graphics. I've had zero, zero problems of any kind. With this, uh, with this expansion, thank goodness. Alcadius the Unburied. Well, and that's gonna be my job. To put you six feet under, and there's two of you. I just realized. Oh, there's one. I also got a devotion level or two, and another freaking elite is approaching. All right, yeah, fine, bring it. I welcome the challenge. Holy crap! We gotta get rid of these little ones, though. How close is he? He's pretty close. I'm gonna stay close to him. I should be able to, to AoE splash the rest of them. Stay out of the poison pools. Vile Claw. 
try to ambush me while I was already engaged with the cannibals, huh? I think not. Too many greens. Need more blues, crate. More blues, please. This is ultimate difficulty. Ultimate. Thank you very much. Would appreciate to see more blues. Oh, but look at this! A freaking treasure trove! Speaking of which... What are we gonna get out of this? Legendary? No. Uh, I didn't even get a blue out of that. Uh, unfortunately. Wow. That's unfortunate. Um... But we did pick up a recipe. Maybe this recipe is really good. Adepts. Flanged. Mace? No, it's it's a green. That's uh That's not the loot I was expecting uh, from a treasure trove. Not at all. Um Hopefully we'll find better stuff than that along the way though. That that's just the way Grimdon is. I uh I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe, or maybe I'm spoiled from other ARPGs, <clears throat> D3, uh, but um, I would I would like at least to see more more blues. I don't expect legendaries to, to rain from the sky in this game, but it, it does still seem like, on ultimate difficulty, that blue items should be a bit more common than, than they are. Oh, oh, look at this! That's... We found our first uh, shrine. A desecrated shrine. <gasps> and I found another treasure trove. Okay. This is your chance to redeem yourself now. Come on. That was a that was a pretty terrible treasure trove before. Give me something at, at least a blue. At least a blue. Come on. What do you got? Really? Another blueprint. I mean, we're getting like Blood of Cthulhu and stuff like that, which is is cool. We can use that to to get legendaries. Um, but I want to find loot. I don't want to find materials. Is this the new one? Oh. Reforged chains of Olaren. Physical damage. That's good for me. Crit. More physical damage, pierce damage, internal trauma, bleeding damage, vitality, resistance. Plus to soldier, and plus two to ring of steel. It's actually kind of nice. I, uh, I will accept that. <laughs> I will definitely accept that. A, a legendary recipe, thank you very much. All right, desecrated shrine time. Stato. Oh my god. Seriously? That that's a that's a lot of guys. That, that that's a lot of elites right there. Oh dear god. Are you kidding me? Come on. Okay, 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 I get it. I'm dead. Wow. I will say this though, uh, to kind of fill in the gap between my death and running back to my corpse, I absolutely love the day and night cycles in this game. It always makes for such really dramatically different atmospheres within the same areas of the game. I mean, this, this looks way more sinister than it already looked. Uh, now that uh, now that it's turned nighttime around here, it's one of my favorite things about Grim Dawn. Definitely, the uh, the day night cycles are really really freaking cool. Uh, are they still here? Yes, they are. All right. I want my XP back first. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. I don't even have my buffs up. Retreat. <laughs> Retreat. I don't have my buffs up. Hang on. But you know what? Look at that. Look at how I, I managed to get him separated like that. That might be the best way that, for us to handle this. Or we could look at that. Could also bottleneck them? Come on, activate, will you? 
Yeah, look at that. I'm bottlenecking them here in the... This dead tree trunk. Come on. We got a blue on the ground. That's nice. Oh, this is working beautifully. Come on, get him. I can't even tell what the hell is going on down there. He's summoning so many of these plants. I have no choice but to turn around and, and try and take care of them. Hopefully they stop coming with his death. Alright, one more? I can't see what that... I seriously don't know what's going on. Ah, crap. There's still... No, that was definitely not... Okay. We're cool. We're cool. Just burn this guy down. Burn Swift down swiftly. Oh, there we go. That's that's him? That's him. The Garslin Storm Skin? Oh, ho, 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 ho. We did it! Yes! And look at those beautiful items on the ground. We got two blues out of that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to see. Mythical Shadow Weave leggings. Okay, not for me. Not for my build. Which is exactly why I feel like, especially, I, I keep... I keep pointing this out on ultimate difficulty, right? With the with the way the loot is just wide open, anything can drop for any class. We need a, a, a I feel like a, a a somewhat frequent rate at which blues uh, can drop, so that way we have a better chance of finding something good for our uh, good for our spec, good for our uh, our class. Pakula the turning. I'm really loving how populated these areas are with uh, with elites. This is really good because the more of them that there are, the, the better the chance. Of oh my god, this guy hurts though. What is he doing? Hold on. What is that? Bleeding and something else. I gotta watch my freaking health. Okay, I think we got this. Yep, we got this. <laughs> I just had to concentrate on my timing of my uh, my potion and my uh, what is this again? Overguard. That's it. Wendigo spirit. Nice. Got some uh, some good components out of that and stuff. Very very cool. Um, it, this is great though. Like with the frequency that I'm finding these uh, these elite and, and named enemies, not only does it make it loads more fun because killing trash like endlessly is only going to get me so far entertainment wise uh not only is it a lot more fun to to fight more challenging enemies but um <laughs> that's freaking vines dude <laughs> um it, it's also going to give us a better chance at uh at, at getting good loot oh no is this hang on are you the father please just leave me alone out here what who are you? Some sort of... What? Monster in disguise. Calm down, I'm not going to hurt you. Stay back, I, I'm a powerful arcanist. <laughs> not looking for trouble, you must be Garrett. What? I mean, yes. How did you know? Your daughter sent me to find you. Amala? Oh, my sweet Amala. She made it to safety then. Yes, she's fine. She's at Devil's Crossing. The prison? Well, so long as it's safe... I guess I can die in peace then. No need to be dramatic. I can get you out of here. No, I 
cannot bear to look her in the eyes. I failed her as a father. I failed to protect her when she needed me. Leave me here. You won't be any good to her dead. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Shove Garrett in a rift gate. <laughs> I should totally take that option. <laughs> I mean, I'm almost afraid the guy's just gonna be like, no, screw you. <laughs> like kill himself right here. Now let's 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 try and reason with him, yeah? Trying to reason with the man. I suppose that is true. We got together this far. I cannot abandon her again. I have been given a second chance. How do you plan on getting me there, though? My leg is busted. Like this. Whoop! <laughs> I don't have time for this. Shove him through a rift. That's awesome. All right. Well, I think that's a good point to uh, to pause it there. Then we um, we've we've done exactly what we we set off to do at the beginning uh, of this uh, this quest. Go rescue her father break through the uh, the ethereal barrier and stuff like that we found some pretty good loot i found a legendary uh belt belt wasn't it a legendary belt uh plan which actually looks like it's uh, it's pretty decent i'm gonna have to compare that and the rest of this loot to uh to the current stuff that i'm wearing see what stats maybe i i might lose or need to be Re, uh, rearranged for uh, possible upgrades but uh, yeah I hope that you guys are enjoying the Grim Dawn videos here on the channel I like I said I'm going to do a combination of both push forward here in the expansion uh, new areas with the expansion with the the commando build that I'm currently playing and I'm also going to uh, get started on playing the the necromancer uh, I might do Inquisitor at the same time. That might be a bit too much, though. So I might just start with uh, Necromancer because the Necromancer looks really, really amazing um, from what I've seen of it in the uh, the preview. So yeah, you get to uh, to experience a, a bit of both uh, with the uh, the new classes and the uh, the new content uh, pushing forward here with the Commando. But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for now, guys. I want to know what you think down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support Grim Dawn videos here on the channel, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. This is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time.